What we're going to do now is look at how we can organize the different questions within our spreadsheet. Now I've added a few more items here and I've actually added another lesson called program in here and you can see the answers that I've, I've put over here. What we want to do is separate each of the lessons into their own sheet. So firstly, let's click on the plus button down here to create a new sheet. And let's call this spreadsheets. What we want is a formula in here to actually grab the data from the form responses sheet that only brings the spreadsheet data in. There is a formula that does this called query. So we're going to type in query and then bracket. That will then tell us exactly what we need for this formula. So we need the data. So the data is going to be from our form responses. So let's go back to our form responses and we're going to choose column A all the way to our final column, which is Q. Okay. And then we can type a comma. The next thing we need is the actual query itself. Now, if you know anything about SQL, then this will become quite straightforward. But if you don't, very simply, the first thing you need to do is type a quote and then you type in the word select. If we want to select all the columns, then we type a star, but we don't. We only want to select the columns for sp the spreadsheet lesson. So we need to go and find out what those were. So let's have a look. So we want column A, B, C, and then the spreadsheet questions are D, E, and F. So we want columns A to F. So we need to type in there A, B, C. Now they're the standard columns we need. We don't actually have to take them, but we're going to take them anyway. And then D, E, and F. Okay. Now we only want to take the answers from the spreadsheet questions. So we need to type in the command where. And the column that we're looking for is column C, which is this, not column C, it's column B. You can't actually see it there, but column B is where it tells us what the lesson is. And we want lesson one spreadsheets. So where column B equals, now you have to type in several quotes here, but you have to type two quotes and then type in what the parameter is. So in this case, it's lesson one dash spreadsheets. It has to be exactly the same as what's in your spreadsheet here. We need to type another double quote to end the select quote and then bracket. And when we press return, that will fill out our spreadsheet and you can see here it's brought in all the spreadsheet answers and here is our one record that we only had one record here. Now what you need to do is duplicate that for all the other lessons. I'm just going to duplicate the programming lesson here. So what we can do to duplicate that, we go to our spreadsheet, we click on duplicate, let's rename that to programming, and now what we need to do is just change the query. So the query, we don't want D, E and F anymore, so we need to go back to our form responses spreadsheet and have a look. It's O, P and Q. So let's go back to programming and change that to O, P and Q. O, comma, P, comma, Q. Where B is lesson, and it's lesson five, programming. The 10, and there you can see it's brought in the three answers from that lesson. Now you can do that for all of your lessons. For the sake of this training, I'm just going to show you these two because we need this one for the next lesson.